Ethiopia saw unprecedented political change in 2018, says Ruben Brigidi, former U.S. ambassador to the African Union. The historic decision of uh, former Prime Minister Haile Mariam Desalegn to uh, voluntarily relinquish power is something that's never happened in Ethiopian history before. Uh, it paved the way for the entree of uh, uh, the current Prime Minister, Dr. Abiy Ahmed, who has made a series of incredible political reforms, the release of political prisoners, to, uh, appoint, uh, to leading the the effort to appoint uh, the first female president uh, in Ethiopia's history. The second most populous country in Africa also made peace with its neighbor Eritrea after 20 years of hostility. But nearly one million people have been displaced in southern Ethiopia since clashes erupted there in April, according to UN agencies. In Zimbabwe, the forced resignation of President Robert Mugabe in late 2017 paved the way for elections this year. Ken Opalo, assistant professor of African politics at Georgetown University. It wasn't democratic, but it was a transition. And I think any transition is better than no transition, especially if it's done constitutionally, which, uh, you know, ZANU PF uh, jumped up through a lot of hoops to make it look like it was a democratic transition. The elections were won by President Emerson Munangagwa, a longtime ally of Mugabe making some wonder if this was a real transition from the old guard. I think, you know, as we're seeing in Mozambique and Angola, uh, any transition is good because the new set of rulers typically want to, you know, be their own men and women. Uh, and so they'll implement reforms like you're seeing in Angola that may not always go well with the previous regime. As the year draws to an end, Attention turns to the Democratic Republic of Congo, which will hold elections on December 23rd. Michael O'Hanlon of the Brookings Institution in Washington. If those go passably well, I think this is a huge boost forward because that will be combined, as I see it, with, you know, not so bad trends in Nigeria, Kenya, Tanzania. While trends for democracy are encouraging, countries like Congo Brazzaville, Equatorial Guinea, Cameroon, Sudan and Uganda are home to some of the longest serving presidents in Africa. In the case of Equatorial Guinea's president, Theodoro Obiangema Mbasogo, 2019 will mark his 40th year in power. Mariama Diallo, VOA News, Washington.